Hey guys, Peyton Snayback here again for another video for you guys today. So, I just got done watching Victor Crowley moments ago. Um, and if you guys didn't know, this movie isn't out yet, I don't think. Um, I think it comes out this Tuesday. I could be wrong, but um, I'll put the website down below of where I watched it on. So, um, but um, in case you guys didn't know, this is um, part four of the Hatchet series. Um, so let's get into the review, shall we? So, um, if you guys aren't familiar with the Hatchet movies, I'm going to review a little bit of what the other ones are about. I, I may not remember some of the stuff that happened in the other ones because I haven't seen them in quite a while. So, it was like, you know, the third one I only saw once. So I can't really remember what happened in the third one. I do remember Danielle Harris was in that one. She was also in the second one, too. She was not in the first one. Um... But, um, the first one was basically about group, this, um, this tour, um, going, um, touring on the swamp, and I think it was, like, um, Victor Crowley, he ends up getting, um, um, killing, um, people one by one in the swamp. You know, if you don't know who Victor Crowley is, it's basically, you know, he was born, like, it was kind of, sort of like Friday the 13th in a sort of way, um, he was born with a deformed face, and, um, you know, his father, uh, which is played by, um, Kane Hodder, who did, um, did play Jason in, uh, Friday the 13th Part 7, 8, and I believe Jason Goes to Hell. Um, takes care of, um, Victor Crowley. You know, one day these kids, um, they're, they're these kids who, um, try to do a prank on Victor, but, and the prank ended up going wrong, and they set the house on fire, and right, um, when the father comes home, he tries to get the, um, his son out, Victor, by using a, um, hatchet to, um, cause, um, he was living in this, like, wooden, like, cabin, and he accidentally kills, um, Victor, and, you know, I can't really remember what hap what else happens in the first one, because, like I said, I hadn't even seen, um, parts one, two, and three in a while, so, um, I, re I remember the second one, um, it had, um, it was, like, a continuing sequel to the, to the first one, um, Danielle Harris going at, coming out of the, the lake after, you know, events happening from the first. Um, I think she was trying to find out who she was, you know. I, I can't remember, really. Um, I can't remember what happened in the third one. I think, what, what was his name, wasn't it? Zach Gelligan from, you know, Waxwork and the Gremlins movies. He was in that one. Alright, but, but, but this one, out of five stars... I give this one a four, because I, I actually really, really like this one. Um, this one is about, um, no, this is ten years later, after, you know, the first movie. Um, it's basically, um, about this act, well, not actor, but, um, this guy who, um, you know, he says that he's the one who survived, um, you know, all the murders that happened that Victor Crowley did. And, you know, but people, you know... It's kind of like, you know, the O.J. Simpson thing. Like, you know, people say that he killed Nicole, but, you know, he was found not guilty. It's sort It was sort of like that. Um, but, you know, people thought that he was the one who did all the murders. But, you know, it wasn't him. It was Victor that did it. And he was found not guilty. And he wrote a book about, you know, all the stuff that happened when his friends got killed on the tour thing. And I think it was like... And, you know, um, Phyllis Rose, who did, um, Angela in Sleepaway Camp, she's in this, and she is freaking funny in this movie. I really liked her acting. Um, I think they're, I think they were going to do, like, this movie or something, but it, um, and they go on the airplane. What ends up happening is, um, the plane ends up crashing down into the swamp, because I think they were going to, um, film, like, some kind of, like, movie in the swamp or something. Um, yeah, and the plane crashes down in the swamp, and of course, you know, Victor Crowley's out there, and he's, um, basically killing them all one by one, and I've gotta say, um, the depths in here, they were, like, well done, I mean, I mean, when it comes to these movies, I mean, there's, like, a lot of cool depth scenes that I have never even seen, like, a horror movie, like, ha have, has done before, you know, I mean, they're just, like, well done, and, you know, it's... To me, I think they were cool. I mean, I like the first two movies. I did not really care for the third one, I remember. Because, like I said, I, I only saw that one once, so I remember not really liking that one. But, you know, um, 
so, but yeah, it's basically, you know, the people are stuck on the airplane and, you know, they're trying to figure out how to get out and how to survive and not get killed by Victor Crowley. I don't want to get into too much detail, though, because, I mean, this movie was actually pretty cool. And, and for those of you um, who like the um, Hatchet movies, um, no matter what, no matter what, um, watch um, a after the credits because it was kind of cool um, what happened in the credits. It's not, it wasn't <clears throat> like great or perfect what they did in the credits, but it was kind of cool, you know. So watch after the credits of the movie um, because it was all, it was kind of awesome. But um, yeah, four stars is what I give it because I actually kind of liked it. It was entertaining to me in my opinion. But um, anyway, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.